It's the 8th of September and it's just 11.20 in the morning and I'm just doing a hike starting at the Independence Hall in Chonan. I will take a hike up Hyksong San Mountain today. And from Hyksong San Mountain I'm going to go to Tejo San, Tejo San Mountain. And then I'm going to head towards Kakwansa Temple and if I'm lucky I might find those jewel bugs and, you know, get to see them one more time. And then, if I'm even luckier, I can get home for a little nap before I start frog rescue. So I'm just going to enjoy some nice scenery. I'm going to enjoy as much green as possible in September. And hopefully all weekends, if possible. And then, come October, we really start to see some of the change. Already you can see the leaves are falling off certain trees. But still, September really stays green for all of the month basically. And so I think September is like my last chance to enjoy green scenery. And today is the kind of like a stereotypical Korean day. Typical green scenery, blue sky, really warm today, 31 and believe it or not this Wednesday will be about 34 which is really hot for September but maybe after that it'll start getting a little bit cooler you can still hear some cicadas which is awesome it's really nice today, nice and calm Yeah, there's nobody around at the moment, so it's nice and quiet, and I'm just going to enjoy some quiet time and just enjoy the, yeah, just enjoy some nature and time to, I don't know, let my mind process things as I wander and think, and that's about it. No big goals today. Just simple. If you're watching this video, I hope that you enjoy the beautiful scenery of South Korea.
Okay, this is the top of Hoksong San Mountain next to some some kind of facility which I'm not supposed to record so I'm not going to aim this camera towards that building but this is the hike heading down towards uh, heading down Hoksong San Mountain and it will meet with Tejo San Mountain Oh! I don't know if that was a frog I saw some kind of animal jump and I saw two snakes I have to say my hearing was pretty good because the second snake I just heard the sound, this gentle rustling. It wasn't even so close. Um, it's good. I think I'm very observant. So I'm gonna go down this way because that other side is a bit steeper. Yeah, I'm pretty observant when it comes to sounds, which is why I don't like to listen to music when I'm on hikes. And I don't like to wear earphones. I just like the sounds of the forest. I think it was a good call to go the way I came, not that way. Yeah, anyway, um, so I'm going to head towards Tajosan Mountain. Just 20 past 12. And got a few hours. So I'm going to enjoy. Hopefully, um, there is a little overpass over the road. And usually you can see some mantises and crickets and grasshoppers. I might spend a few minutes and see what I can find. I've got a lot of flies around my face right now. I've become a fly magnet. Ah, I feel a little breeze though. So when there's a breeze, those flies maybe find it harder to keep up with me. Oh, isn't it lovely in the forest? It's like nice and green and the sun's shining and it's warm but I'm sweating a bit but that breeze helps and it's not sweating like I was in summer vacation which was oh my god hiking in summer vacation in peak summer is oh my god it's kind of gross Yeah, still nice to hear those little cicadas. I wish there was like a dragonfly. There was a dragonfly. I remember one time, it was summertime and these flies all around my face. And I picked up a dragonfly and it kindly ate some of those flies, which is pretty awesome. So I need to find a dragonfly who can help me out.
Well, I took a wrong turn, so I'm heading back and I'm going to find the right way. There are two directions you can go. One goes down Hooksong San Mountain to a reservoir, and the other one goes to Tejo San Mountain. I did the wrong trail. There's the trail. Can you see the trail? There is the trail. There it is, as far as I'm aware. No, no, no. Where, where is it? Is it there? Here it is. Here it is. It's here somewhere. There is, there it is. Yeah, there's the entrance to the second trail. No wonder I missed it. Yeah, there it is. Yep, this really is the hiking trail. really is the hiking trail. It's hard to believe, right, that the hiking trail is this way. Let's hope there's no snakes. I mean, I like snakes, but if you stand on one, it could be a big problem. Okay, look. Yeah, this is talk about a secret trail. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, now I see, I can see. If I didn't know about this trail, I would never guess that this is the right way. But I've lived in Chonan and Nassan for a good while, and so I know these trails pretty well. Oh, I just saw a frog. I think it was the Korean brown frog, which is Kun Um That was pretty awesome. Just jumped away. Yeah, this is nice, wild, and overgrown. Oh, there's another frog. I just saw it just jump over there. Oh my god. And there's something amazing about finding a frog in its real habitat, especially because of all the work I'm doing in Asan, near my home, in the suburb of Jangjeri, where there is so much development going on. And yeah, all these frogs that are, you know, there's so many frogs just are going to die because they're non endangered species. No protection, and I try and rescue them, but any that I find, but it's always like one or two if I'm lucky. I found four tree frogs the other day, but what I mean is, in the grand scheme of things, the number is minute compared to the thousands that will die because the area of development is pretty big and it's like rice fields, a lot of it's rice fields and low lying land. Yeah, and then they'll put this big construction fence up at the places and the wild animals cannot get away. And yeah, it's just really, really depressing. But there's nothing I can do about it, so... Yeah, I've just got to manage my emotions, I suppose. Oh, nothing else I can do! Oh my god, it's a bit slippy. I forgot this trail it gets a bit slippy in parts. I want to come back here the end of October, maybe around Halloween time, the oak tree forest. All the oak trees turn beautiful, beautiful orange. It's so good. It's really beautiful. And hopefully I can time it right and get to see. Oh! My legs are a little bit tired. I don't sleep enough, ever. I haven't slept good for two months. Oh! I thought I heard an insect, but maybe not. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been a little bit tough lately. Okay, enough from me. I'm just going to enjoy some quiet time and let's get back to some nature and no more depressing conservation work.
I think this is the end of Hyksong San Mountain. And this overpass will lead to some, uh, what is it? Kejo San Mountain. I have to make sure I mind the gap here. Jump over. There we go. Yeah. I love this green staircase. It's so cool. It's really overgrown. I like overgrown. It's so good. Yeah, there is a staircase here. Usually lots of grasshoppers. And when there are grasshoppers and crickets, there's also prey mantis. You can see a butterfly too. And there'll be jumping spiders and beetles. It's cool. It's like a little eco pathway. There's a tunnel underneath for cars to go by. Yeah, it's very nice. And pine tree. Oh, was that a. I don't know if that was the brownie at Bulbul. Yeah, those pine trees are getting bigger and bigger. Every time I come back, they grow. Oh! Yeah, I've got to be careful for all the grass. Lots of nice wild plants too. And tiny little butterflies. Really is an eco overpass. Lovely. It's very hot. Yeah, in autumn time when I come here, I guess technically it's autumn now, but anyway, with all the oak trees turn orange, and it's a really nice view. Let's turn around and look one more time. So beautiful and green.
just came down from the top of Tejosan Mountain Peak. So what I'm going to do is, before I head down to Kakwansa Temple, I'm going to um, look for the jewel bugs one more time. Uh, hopefully I can see those. And I thought that would be a great way to end my hike today. It's been nice. There's not really been any like amazing views from the top of the mountain, but I chose to come here because I wanted to just enjoy the green forest. And if I really want nice mountain views, like from the top of the ridge walks, then I think late autumn and winter time can be a good time for that. I've got a lot of free time in winter. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's more my hiking season. Although the downside is winter is cold, the forest is not so pretty, and uh, there are no insects to see. So, oh, I wish, I wish my summer vacation was super long, and also I wish I was free. Summertime for now is a lot of animal conservation, and that digs into my free time. It's like I got a full-time job plus a part-time job. And then I was thinking yesterday, that equates to about 11 or 12 hours of my day. It's like really, it's really tough. So I still hope that in the future, maybe next summer, that I can get back to the hobbies and interests and long hikes. I hope so. Anyway, I'm going to take this trail and get to the area where the jewel bugs are and hopefully I can make a little video one more time. There's one thing that this video cannot give you and is that is the, the smell in the forest. There's this really, really nice earthy, herby fragrance. It's so nice. Um, you don't really smell it in winter time, but on really warm days like today, it's so good. I really like it. Yeah, so, so the videos, I like to try and show the nice natural scenery, but sometimes some things just have to be experienced in person. So I think that yeah, hiking in the forest in Korea is so good. I'm so lucky to have so many hiking trails. There are so many that I haven't done yet though, so I have to, yeah, there's so many places to explore. Maybe next year. Okay, time for a break.